Now let's look at the rule number three. The rule number three says, when the positive ends in one consonant and the consonant end is preceded by a short vowel, the final consonant is doubled, er and est are added to form the comparative and superlative degrees. So now we are going into rule number three. Rule number three. When the positive, rule number C, three says, when the positive says, when the positive positive When the positive ends in one consonant, in one consonant, in one consonant, and the consonant. the consonant is preceded preceded by a, a short vowel by a short vowel short vowel vowel the final consonant the final, the final consonant is doubled. The final consonant is doubled and ER and EST are added. ER, EST. ER and EST. And EST are added. Added to form. The comparative and the superlative. Comparative and superlative. Okay. What does the rule say? The rule says, rule number three says, when the positive ends, in one consonant and the consonant, consonant is preceded by a short vowel. What happens? The final consonant is doubled. The final consonant is doubled and you add ER to the comparative, EST to the superlative to forming of comparative and superlative. E R E S T. Now let's look at all the in all the three cases. Let's see. Positive. Positive. Comparative. Superlative. Okay. Now we'll box them.
Okay, now let's look at the words we have here. First one I have here is big. Okay, the first I have here is big. Next, fit. Third one, hot. Sad. Thin. And the sixth one is wet. Okay. Big. Fit. Hot. Sad. Thin. Wet. Big. Fit. Hot. Sad. Thin. Wet. Now, I've got here, the rule number three says, the positive ends in, the positive is ending in one consonant, G, this is a consonant T, D, N, T. When the positive ends in a consonant, one consonant, and the consonant is preceded by a short vowel, I, short vowel, I, O, A, I, E. So, when the word ends in a, in one consonant, preceded by a short vowel, what happened? The formation of comparative is by adding the first, doubling the consonant. First, we are going to do double the consonant. So, and add er bigger fitter hotter sadder thinner wetter what have we done it says when the word ends in a consonant one consonant preceded by a short vowel you double the consonant and add ER. What did we do? Double the consonant, then we added ER and then what do we get? We get the comparative. Now let's form the superlative. In the superlative, again you add, you get double, you double the consonant and add EST. Okay? So here, Double the consonant and EST. Biggest. Fittest. Hottest. Okay. Saddest. Thinnest. And uh, wettest. How did he form the superlative? Let's look at it. You added EST after doubling the consonant. Okay? Now, the rule number three is very, very easy. The rule number three says when the positive ends in one consonant preceded by a short vowel, you double the consonant to form the comparative, double the consonant and add ER. But to form the superlative, double the consonant and add EST. Let's read all the six positive, comparative and superlative. Big, bigger. You double the consonant, bigger. Fit, fitter. Double the consonant and add ER. Hot, hotter. Double the consonant and added ER. Sad, sadder. Thin, 
thinner, wet, wetter. In forming the superlative, again, you double the consonant and add est. Big, biggest. Fit, fittest. Hot, hottest. Sad, saddest. Thin, thinnest. Wet, wettest. What are the rule number three says? When a positive ends in one consonant preceded by a vowel, the one consonant is doubled and to form the comparative, you add ER and to form the superlative, you double the consonant and add EST.